All over the world, looting and destruction of archaeological sites is a huge problem. That's no exception in Southeast Utah. Southeast Utah, specifically San Juan County, has the most archaeological sites per square mile of any county in the entire United States. The archaeological record and the historical record is rich. However, it has been disappearing piece by piece for the last 120 years, and it's really getting worse as we are now seeing it. Why is this a problem? Every time someone takes one piece of pottery from an archaeological site or arrowhead from an archaeological site, it is taking a piece of the puzzle that explains about people in the past. Because the material pieces of their lives are the only things that we have left to learn about who they were and what they did. Artifacts are objects left behind by Native American people who were here 800, 1,000, 2,000 years ago. It could be a piece of pottery. It could be an arrowhead. It could be another type of stone tool. They are our connection with how people lived and how people worked 800, 1,000, or 2,000 years ago. One piece of pottery could tell an archeologist that's trained in the science exactly how old a site is. Artifacts have enormous power to tell us things about the past. And if they disappear in someone's pocket or get sold on the black market, that information is lost forever. There's probably a couple different ways that people see looting. Um, most people think of looting uh, when they think of someone going in and digging up a site or vandalizing a site, but looting of course is collecting the artifacts and taking them. And of course those people that loot for commercial gain are the ones that most people think of because that's what they see on TV and that's what gets all the press. But really what we also need to be thinking about is people, average people like you and me who go out hiking, they see some projectile point of some ceramic shirts, they want to be a part of that history, they think it's really cool, and they pick it up and take it home. Well that's information that's lost to archaeologists. If you come upon an artifact, the best thing to do is to imagine the person who made that and really think about the connection that that artifact provides you to the past. Once you've thought a little bit about the person who made that artifact, the best thing to do is to leave it exactly where you found it. If you change the location of an artifact even a little bit, not only are you breaking the connection with the person who left that artifact there, but you're also potentially changing the ability of that artifact to provide science and to provide information about history.